Hey, it's Blast Miner Dad here with a technical video on how to install and run the Technic platform. So I've had a lot of questions about how do I download this Technic platform and even somebody that said that it was fake, there's no way you can make this on a server, but it is true, people do make these on servers and it works pretty well. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the Technic Pack uh, website and this will come up like this, the Technic Pack uh, Technic Platform website, and there's a lot of different mod packs you can choose from in here, and, th and these are really cool things to do. So you can go in here and browse different mod packs and things. But I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to run this. It's extremely easy. So all you're going to do is move your mouse over here to download, and you're going to say download the launcher, and you're going to pick whatever platform you have, Mac or Windows. I've got Windows, so I'm going to hit Windows, and it's going to download the file down here. Uh, you're going to want to put this somewhere, like say on your desktop, it's going to be just like regular Minecraft. You would put it somewhere you would want to run. And when you run this thing up, and it says yes, run, and it's going to bring up the Technic Launcher, which is going to come up right here. Now I've already logged into it, so it's, it's already logged into me, uh, but what's going to come up for you is a username and password, and you have to log in using your Minecraft account. Okay, and because it's actually Minecraft, it will log you into the Minecraft servers. So you log into that. And it comes up, and this is all the different packs that you can uh, you can add here. I've added all these different packs, but I'll show you how you would add a pack. So you come over here to say add a pack, and it says please enter your Technic platform delivery URL below to add a new pack. And you would stick this in here and push paste. So let's go back to the website and let's find a pack that we want to play. So let's see, browse mod packs. So these are the mod packs we can look for, and let's try to pick one here. Um, I guess this Pixelmon one, that's a new one. I don't have that one in my list. So if I click on this, it's going to give me this thing called a delivery URL. This is, this is the URL. So I want to copy that. And I think this is a little copy button. So I don't have to like right click and copy, but I can just click here and copy. Okay. And I go back to my Technic launcher and it says, enter your platform delivery area paste right there. And look at it, it added all this stuff for me. And I say, add mod pack and it's gonna add it in here. So now it's gonna be in my list of things, there it is right here. And then all you're gonna do is you just hit play and it will download the pack. All right, so see it's actually downloading the pack right now. And when that's finished downloading, it'll just launch it up and that's it. This is extremely easy uh, and a way to get mods on your computer. So let me cancel that real quick and I'll pause and come back and I'll show you how to get our specific mod pack to do our server. Okay, so I deleted my own pack and so now I need to add a pack and I need to find our pack. So what you can do is you can go over here to mod packs and try to browse it and find it if you don't know the URL yourself. Boop. Let's click that. And we go to search mod packs and ours is builders of course you're only going to have to do this once once you get the um the pack url you never really have to do this again so that's us right there and i click that and it comes up this is the platform url that's the thing you put in here and copy this and come up with the pack right here and it's going to say add a new pack and let's stick this in here and paste this in here and for some reason, this is telling me I need a, a different directory. And I think it's just because I deleted it. I didn't have to do this ever before. Um, but anyway, it says it needs a directory outside of this doc technic area. So let me go ahead and select that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just put it on my desktop and I'm going to make a new directory for it and call it Fritz Builder. Okay. All right. So Fritz Builder, open. And add mod pack. Now, you, you shouldn't have to do this. It should just say okay. But in case if that error happens to you, and it only happened for me just because I deleted the pack, I don't know why. And so I add mod pack, and it should now come up in my list, and which is here it is right here. And what you're going to do is you're just going to hit play. But before we do that, and this has been a question I've, I've been asked many times, is how do I increase the RAM with my Technic Launcher? And it's with uh, this little server setting right here. If you need to add more RAM to the launcher in case of some of these don't work, like some of these big modded survival ones won't work with people without adding more RAM, you can come up here to settings 
and you could say memory and you can add uh, more memory. Now, of course, don't add more than your computer has, uh, but mine has a bunch of RAM. So I'm gonna go ahead and just say two and save. And I'm gonna go down here to play since I'm on, I'm selecting this pack, I'm scrolling with my mouse right now. And you see these little pictures. I, need, I guess I need to put a little picture for ours right here. Um, and you're gonna hit play. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna download the file and start installing it. And well, yeah, it's going pretty quick. I, I took out a lot of stuff, so this should run on most people's computers. So now it's downloading the pack, and I'm on version 1.08. And if it ever comes up with a box that says update this pack, make sure to say yes and update the pack. Otherwise, you won't be able to get it on our server uh, because we're keeping them mirrored together. So whatever your pack is, um, is going to be what it is. So this little thing came up, has downloaded a couple extra files, and I'm waiting for the launcher to come up which will come up in a second here. There it is. So this is our little picture right here. So you know that this is us running and it's starting up and it's gonna take a little bit, you know, a little bit longer than like regular Minecraft to load up because you're loading up a bunch of mods, uh, you know, 80 or so different kind of things. Uh, but when it comes up, then it will come up with the regular Minecraft looking menu items here, which it is. And this says it's Minecraft 164, and you've got Forge running, 83 mods loaded. That's right. Now you can make your single player and, and you know play on your own if you want. Uh, you can go into multiplayer, and our server is already listed right here. Uh, if you want to have another server with this mod running, just let me know. Give me a line, and I'll give you all the things I use to make our server. And join server. And now you don't have to do any kind of like login passwords. I got rid of all that uh, for the server, so you don't have to do that. And this will log you into our server using both the mods and uh, you know and the server mods and all that. So hide this message. So I'm in the server right now. I've actually, been working on um, I've been working on the player area. So this is the player area. Whoop, what am I doing? I pushed E. Wrong one. There we go. I've been working on the uh, player survival area right now. There's really nothing here because this is going to be all user driven, and I'm making little plot zones right by the spawn for uh, for people. So, but what you'll get when you first log in to our server is by spawn. This is by spawn right here, right? So anyway, see if this works for y'all now. If you uh, if you have any other questions, just let me know. Uh, the Technic Launcher is really nice. I really love the Technic Launcher. Um, that you can you can run all these different mods without doing any kind of changes to your machine. And this thing really had just came out in the last um, couple months, I think. Uh, but it's just awesome because you can run mods uh, on your machine without having to do all kinds of extra work like people do. And it just updates the mod pack. The mod creators like us uh, will just update the pack and it'll work. So anyway, let's see if that works for y'all. And I'll see y'all later.